Hi, in this video we're going to talk more about classes and objects. So we've used a bunch of words and we're going to try and differentiate really clearly between them, between objects, classes, and instances. So an object is something that contains both state and behavior. It's an instance of a class. A class is a template for creating an object, and an instance is what you call a specific version of the class. Instances and objects generally refer to the same thing. Okay, so the class name is usually capitalized. So when we see student with a capital S or rectangle with a capital R, those are classes. Student is a class, rectangle is a class. The classes are the types. The classes are the types. But when you create a specific version, when we create an instance or an object, that one is lowercase. So Ada or Alan will be the specific instances of the class or the objects. So there's a lot there, but the key thing is to try and differentiate between what are the objects and the classes. Okay, so here we have a setup and we need to figure out, is this an object or a class? So we have Ada, who's in the, in the student. Is this an object or is this a class? What do you think? So the answer is object. Ada is an object or instance of the student class. Okay, here we have a rectangle. It's called rectangle two. Is this an object or a class? What do you think? It's an object. It's an object. It's an instance of the rectangle class. It has a specific width and a specific height. Okay, what about this? Here we have a template this is a template for us to create rectangles. What is it? This is a class. This is the template or a blueprint for how to create an object. So remember, the key phrase that relates all of them is that an object is an instance of a class. An object is an instance of a class. So a class is referring to all the possible rectangles and an object, that's a specific rectangle. An object is a four by seven rectangle. A class could refer to all the students, all the things that are similar among students, and an object is a specific student. Alan is a specific student in 12th grade. Okay, so here we have a text message. This is a template for creating a text message. Is this an object or a class? What do you think? This is a class. This is the template or a blueprint for how to create a text message. Okay, let's go back into our editor now that we've talked about these distinctions a bit more. Okay, so here we have our student tester program. And now with the, the vocabulary of classes and objects in mind, let's take another look. So student, capital S, is the name of the class. So if we look in the files on the side, we can see student, that's the name of the class. These variables named Alan and Ada are objects or instances of the class. So you can see student, that's the type, but Alan, that's the name of the specific object. So let's run this code to see. So there you go, you can see that when we run it, it prints out some information about both of the objects. Now let's take a look at the rectangles program. So here you can see rectangle is the name of the class. Every rectangle has a width and height but the specific instances have their own dimensions. So we can see rectangle R1 is 10 by two, and rectangle R2 is five by 15. These are objects, these are instances of the class. So there you go, there's another look into objects, instances, and classes.